Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial, well hopefully quick, about how to install mods into Armour 3. Um, I've recently started playing this game again, I haven't played it in a very long time. Anyway, um, I've sort of, you know, gotten to getting uh, getting mods and all that kind of stuff to make uh, my experience on the game just a little bit better. Anyway, I thought I'd just quickly show you guys how to add mods into Armour 3. There are two ways to do it. First one is on the Steam uh, workshop. So you scroll down here to the workshop, you click it, and then there's an absolute ton of mods uh, which have been uploaded. Um, then you have all these different types of things like missions, etc., etc. Um, and you can, you know, choose whichever one you like. I'm not going to um, download any now, but. Um, but for example, Cup, they, they're pretty good. Um, you can download them and all you do is click the little plus and um, it'll add to your armor mod folder if you like. Um, however, if your mod isn't in the um, Steam Workshop, which a lot isn't, like RHS, which is what I'm going to show you now, um, then you'll need to do it this way. So what we're going to do first is we're going to minimize that. So Google the mod you want. Um, you can uh, go to this website, Armaholic, and you can um, let's just go to the home page, and you'll come to a page like this. You want to click uh, Downloads, and then you want to cl click Armor Free Files. Then you can find your mod from here, or you can also search it, and you know, hopefully, it comes up. However, um, what I'm going to do, there's two ways you can do it. A lot of the bigger mods will have websites like this. So uh, the RHS, Red Hammer Studios, as you can see there, and you can click on the mod you want, then you can click download, and then it will give you a download links, torrents, or you know, just off their own service or whatever. Um, but for this purpose, most of you will be using Armaholic, which is what I'm going to do for this video. You scroll down to the bottom now. I'm using RHS Escalation, which doesn't actually exist anymore. Um, as a all it does is combines uh, these two mods here into one so you just come onto this page here um, I'll leave a link in the description you click on the two mods you want I mean in my case I'm using both um, and then you scroll down to bomb you can read some stuff up about it sometimes it'll have uh, requirements uh, this one doesn't have any requirements then you click to download and it'll start downloading um, I think it's locked to uh, about 400 kilobytes a second, so don't expect any ultra-fast download speeds. It took me about an hour to download this. Um, but yeah, once you've downloaded it, what you want to do, you want to find where you have your mods. In my case, I have uh, my own fat. I'm just going to uh, change this around like that. I have it in on my desktop in a folder called games and stuff and then like this and you can see the mods I've already got. Um, so uh, what we're going to do now is you're going to go into the folder which your mod is in. Uh, I'm using a WinRAR, you will need to use WinRAR or something so you can extract mods. You can also use 7-zip and there will be a folder like this here, the highlighted one. This is the folder you need, not the stuff in here. It's very important, it's this folder here where it says at. If a mod you want to get doesn't have an at in front of it, you need to rename it and just put an at in. Very simple. I've already extracted mine. So you can see here, this is mine. Uh, I've, uh, I have accidentally moved this one, so I haven't got a folder in that. Um, but for the US uh, one, I've still got a folder in, and you can see it's exactly the same as what was in that zip folder. Then you want to locate to your armor free folder. Now, for most of you guys, it'll be on your C drive, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, which is down it, and then you'll have a location called Common. For me, it's slightly different. Um, you'll come to this page here, which you're just at, because I've got mine on my D drive. Uh, Steam Apps, Common, Armor Free, and here we go. Now, you don't need to go on to add-ons or anything like that, like this. This is where all your workshop stuff will be, I think, anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is where all your workshop, you know, add-ons and uh, uh, mods and stuff will be. Uh, no, it isn't. 
your workshop ones will be in here. Unbelievable. Um, so yeah, all you need to do, I've already extracted mine as you can see, but just copy and paste or just um, cut and paste or move it or whatever. Move this at into uh, into this folder. Being careful not to put it in any folders just to get down here and, or something so it actually goes into here. And then you can see you have the two folders like that which say at. So now we are going to go to Armour 3 and launch it because at the moment you still can't actually play the mod. You need to do or use a mod you need to do one more thing so when armor free loads which can take a while because once you install mods the game does take longer to install now purpose of this video I'm actually going to uh, unload all of those so I've now got a modless armor free um, these mods you don't need to worry about they're not included in the video uh, so we're gonna click local mods now it'll send you to the last page where you have um, found like use your mods or in other words you want to go to your armor free directory again like we just did okay so just do that um, like that now you want to select the mods you want to install or want to use or install I guess because that's what we're doing now and then you click select folder or in my case folders and then you can see uh, that was installed and hopefully yep you can see they are now both installed now to use your mods, you can either click load all if you want to use all your mods at once, or uh, if you want to just sort of use a particular mod, like you know, just to have a mess around with it, see what it's like. Uh, you just click the little tick there, and then we hit play on Armour Free, and it'll take a while. Now sometimes you'll get an error message um, saying you don't have this or you don't have that. Nine times out of ten, it doesn't matter. Unless your game crashes, it makes no difference. Um, so we're just going to wait for Armour 3 to load. It shouldn't take too long because, but I mean, the mods overall, I think they must be about 6 gig or something like that. So they're not massive, massive, uh, or they're 6 gig um, unextract, uh, extracted. So they're a bit bigger when they're unextracted. Um, oh, I was meant to say the other way around, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so Armour 3 will load any second now, I hope. And I'll just show you guys how you can kind of, you know, mess around with your mods um, just to see, you know, kind of see what you're you're playing with really. Um, and how you check in-game to check that the mod is actually loaded. This is a fairly foolproof way of installing mods. Really, really simple. Uh, nothing too technical. It's just, uh, it's just nice and easy for you guys. Uh, so hopefully you don't have any issues. and right so once we've got to the sort of uh oh here you go uh sometimes it'll come up here i've never played with this mod before so uh you can see it comes up with this um right you can see i've installed it here this thing here open steam workshop don't click that but you can see you have the russian federation forces and u.s forces now to check what your mods are kind of like you know see what they're like you go to tutorials you go to this virtual arsenal now virtual arsenal uh, was introduced introduced when the boot camp came um as part of this and uh, you can see that is a mod this is a mod uh just because i know but it's not part of the standard game and you can see that it has like these symbols by it so if we uh, click by sort by mod you can see it has a symbol by it depending on which one it is uh they should also be a red like that there we go so for example russian ak-47 is pretty uh ak-47 oh my god how embarrassing would it be if there isn't one uh okay there isn't one it doesn't really matter oh well it doesn't really matter ak you know very very you know sort of standard russian weapon uh you can also try them out uh if you click try there will often be other sort of you know um uh, why now? Oh, hang on. oh, I don't know why that didn't uh, didn't work. Uh, let's hit random. See what it comes up with. Oh, here we go. Nice. Right now, try that. Will it work? Okay. I'm not sure why it's not working. Normally, um, you'll see it'll actually work for some reason. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, right. There you go. I just hit number one. Uh, normally it works. Don't know why it wasn't working then. Um, but hey, but here we go. And you can like mess around and you can do this with like Oh look at that, it's so fun. I love this. I could like literally spend all day 
uh, doing that so you can just mess around see what it's like um, if you want to check out vehicles if there's vehicles in your mod pack you click that um uh, fact I don't think there are any there might be I'm not sure nope uh tanks no it doesn't look like they've added vehicles in this unless it's me being blind I don't really know this mod that well so apologies guys um but yeah um, you can also do the same with vehicles if you've got a vehicle mod or something like that, and then you can check uh, check check what uh, like you know what what you want to be as like driver, gunner, commander, etc., etc. Anyway, guys, that has been that. Um, I hope that you found this useful. Um, you know, because uh, installing mods and armor really isn't that difficult if it's not the workshop, so you don't need to give up if you haven't seen it on the workshop. Anyway, that's how you do it, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.